purpose of this activity is to demonstrate one of the reasons for the very unusual natural disaster that occurred in 1986 at Lake Neos in Africa. You will need three birthday candles, one tall, one medium, and one short, and then use hex nuts to uh, serve as holders, bases, for the uh, candles. Place the candles in a clear plastic box similar to this one. Uh, this one is about the size of a shoe box. You will also need 375 milliliters of white vinegar. That's about a cup and a half. Pour the vinegar into an empty one gallon container, either a milk jug or a, an empty vinegar container. Vinegar, of course, is an acid. Eventually, you will be adding baking soda to the, to the container, so you would need 60 milliliters of baking soda. That's about a, a fourth of a cup. You'll need a, a dry funnel. It's important that the funnel be dry. And you will pour the baking soda into the container, which ha already has the vinegar in it. This will cause an acid-base reaction and one of the products of this reaction will be carbon dioxide gas. It takes about a half a minute for this reaction to complete itself. You'll know that it's done when it's done fizzing. And as long as you don't move the container around too much, the carbon dioxide gas should stay in the container because carbon dioxide is heavier than air. So now you have about a gallon of carbon dioxide gas. Go ahead and light the candles. It's important that you do the demonstration in a, an area where it's not drafty. The air must be calm. If it's drafty, sometimes it doesn't work. You might consider covering the container of, of gas with an index card until you get into position to, to pour into the box uh, to avoid spilling any of the invisible gas before you start pouring it into the box. Then carefully pour the invisible carbon dioxide gas into the box. Since it's heavier than air, it will flow to the bottom, and the smallest candle should go out first, followed by the middle candle, and then the tallest candle. To get detailed instructions for this demonstration or to read an article about the Lake Neos disaster, go to the website that's posted at the end of the, uh, the video. I use this demonstration the day after my students do uh, a Lake Neos activity, which I purchased from Ward's Natural Science Establishment. Uh, the, the lab kit called What Happened at Lake Neos can be done by the students uh, in one period and then I do this this demonstration the following day